Hello everyone and welcome to our video. In today's episode we will be showcasing some of the most exciting and innovative game-changing mods that will take your Skyrim experience to the next level. These mods will add new dimensions to the game, enhancing the gameplay, graphics and overall immersion, so let's dive in and explore these fantastic mods together. Stormcrown overhauls every shout in the game to provide a balanced and rewarding gameplay experience for the player as Dragonborn. The mod adds new shouts, changes existing shouts, and balances the cooldown, magnitude, and duration of the shouts with the power of the new Dragonborn perk tree in mind. When you complete your training at High Hrothgar and the Greybeards recognize you as the Dragonborn, you will receive a lesser power called Meditate. Using the Meditate power will cause your character to enter a meditative pose and will grant you access to a new Dragonborn perk tree. You can acquire new perks for the Dragonborn perk tree by killing dragons and absorbing their souls. The first five perks require two souls each. The next five perks require three souls each. The next five perks require four souls each. And the sixteenth and final perk requires five souls. You must kill fifty dragons and consume their souls to complete the Dragonborn perk tree. Stormcrown overhauls Parthenax's meditation mechanic to provide upgrades for almost all shouts. When you approach Parthenax for the first time, you can ask him whether he teaches the power of the voice to others. Doing so will lead to Parthenax offering to teach you to meditate on the words of power. Meditating on a word of power consumes a dragon's soul and provides a permanent upgrade to the chosen shout. You can only meditate on the words of power for shouts which you have mastered by learning and unlocking all three words. Unlike vanilla, you can have more than one meditation effect at a time. The mod also adds two new shouts to the game, Lightning Breath and Poison Breath. Lightning Breath does shock damage to enemies in front of you, while Poison Breath does poison damage to enemies in front of you. The mod fixes numerous bugs with existing shouts and changes some vanilla shouts, such as Disarm and Animal Allegiance, that had particularly forgettable or undesirable effects. Additionally, the Black Book Epistolary Acumen now grants you one of three possible buffs to Dragon Aspect. These buffs include increasing your armor rating, increasing your movement speed, or increasing your attack damage. In this mod, the Arch Curate Verther's throne has been replaced with a beautiful Snow Elves type throne, adding a touch of elegance and ancient lore to your game. When you play Dawn Guard, you see the Snow Elves architecture, and even though all of these buildings are built in the Elven style, you will see that only the throne is made in the Nordic style. This is clearly a mistake on Bethesda's part, and it's not immersive at all. This mod solves these problems perfectly, and re-architects the Snow Elf throne that was playing alone in a Nordic way. With the ALT The Snow Elves Throne mod, you can now feel like a true Snow Elf ruler as you sit upon this magnificent throne. The retexture is stunning, with intricate details and beautiful blue and silver accents. It perfectly captures the ancient, mystical aesthetic of the Snow Elves and adds a unique atmosphere to the location. Have you ever encountered weird glitches and issues with the mounted animal trophies in Skyrim? Well, this mod fixes all of those pesky problems and more. With this mod, you will no longer have to deal with ugly goats or glowing radioactive dead animals when near spotlights. Say goodbye to goats from hell and terrifying ghosts haunting your walls. No more shining parts or vampire goats. And definitely no more satanic goats. The Wall-Mounted Dead Animals Fixes mod provides fixed meshes for most vanilla wall-mounted dead animals, ensuring that all tags and shaders are properly in place. No more missing shadows or glowing eyes. No longer will you have to tolerate these strange and eerie glitches that can take you out of your immersive Skyrim experience. This mod is perfect for those who want to make their game look and feel more polished. Install this mod and enjoy the beautifully mounted animal trophies without any frustrating bugs or glitches. Don't let these issues ruin your gaming experience. Download Wall Mounted Dead Animals Fixes mod today and get back to adventuring. In this video, we're taking a look at the Fluffy Wall Mounted Dead Animals mod. This mod is a mesh and texture replacer for Skyrim's wall mounted animals, adding more realistic fur to mounted animal trophies using shell texturing. The mod is built on upscaled vanilla textures and Gigunit's fixed mounted dead animal meshes. The mod covers bear heads, saber cats, wolves, and even includes a mesh replacer for the wall-mounted elk female 02. Each type of bear, brown, black, polar, has a slightly different head shape, with different amounts of shell texturing on each to give them a unique look. For example, 
brown bears are more shaggy, polar bears are fluff balls, and black bears are a bit more sleek. The length of shell texturing varies on different areas of the head, giving the impression of different fur lengths. All the textures in the main mod are 4K, with an optional 2K version for those who prefer more performance-friendly settings. These meshes are indoors, so they're unlikely to cause any performance issues. One of the great things about this mod is that it's a mesh and texture replacer, which means you can install or uninstall it at any time without any negative effects on your save. Are you tired of the same old boring sound effects for your shouts in Skyrim? Well, have no fear oh? because the Ergotlam Shouts SFX mod is here to oh? enhance your gaming experience. This mod reworks the sound effects for all of your favorite shouts, including Elemental Fury, Slow Time, Whirlwind Sprint, Throw Voice, Fire Breath, Frost Breath, Become Ethereal, Unrelenting Force, Dragon Rend, Dismay, and Aura Whisper. Not only have these sound effects been changed to high quality, but they've been given a unique twist to make them stand out. Each shout now has a distinct sound that truly embodies the power and essence of that shout. Whether you're a seasoned Skyrim player or a newbie, you won't want to miss out on this mod. Upgrade your shouting game with the Air Get Lamb Shouts SFX and experience Skyrim like never before. Arclight adds a total of 16 new spells to your destruction arsenal, including Arclight Sparks, Arclight Chain, Arclight Wall, and Arclight Detonation. But that's not all. This mod also includes a new alteration spell that enhances your weapon and two new conjuring spells. And if you're wondering how to get your hands on these spells, fear not. You can purchase them from Niran Ye and Windhelm, as well as obtain them as scrolls and staves. The best part about this mod is that it's designed to be balanced around Skyrim's vanilla spells, so you won't have to worry about any overpowered spells ruining your gameplay experience. With a total of 19 new spells to experiment with, there's plenty of variety to keep players engaged and entertained. So, if you're someone who is looking for a new magic mod, Arclight is definitely worth checking out. If you're someone who wants a simple yet effective overhaul for Ravenrock, then Spaghetti Solstheim Ravenrock mod is definitely worth checking out. It's a lightweight and FPS-friendly mod that adds some light clutter around the city to give it a fresh and updated look while still maintaining that vanilla feel. What makes this mod great is that it doesn't edit any vanilla records, so it's compatible with other mods that affect Ravenrock without any conflicts. And if there are any clipping issues, you can simply disable the objects from this mod with the console, or request a patch to remove the objects in the conflicting area. The best part is that this mod is flagged as an ESL, so it won't take up any space in your load order. So, if you're looking for a simple yet effective way to enhance Ravenrock, be sure to give Spaghetti's Solstheim Ravenrock mod a try. Are you ready to explore Telmithrin in a brand new way? Check out Spaghetti's Solstheim Telmithrin mod. This mod is the perfect solution for players who want to enhance the look of Telmithrin without sacrificing FPS or dealing with compatibility issues. It adds light clutter around the settlement, focusing on easily noticed details in the major parts of Telmithrin. The result is a visually updated location that still maintains the vanilla feel. One of the best things about this mod is that it doesn't edit any vanilla records. It only adds new ones. This makes it highly compatible with other mods that affect Telmithrin. You can combine this mod with other mods without worrying about compatibility issues or nav mesh conflicts. And since the mod is an ESP flagged as an ESL, it won't take up any space in your load order. So if you want to experience Telmithrin in a new light, try out Spaghetti's Solstheim Telmithrin mod today. And there you have it, folks. These mods are just the tip of the iceberg when it comes to the endless possibilities of Skyrim modding. We hope you enjoyed this video and found some mods that piqued your interest. Don't forget to check the links in the description below for more information and download links for these mods. And as always, thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.